I'm in metaphoric quicksand. The quicksand of life, the things that usually grab people like poverty and job loss and things like that, they grab people and they sink and they die. I don't want to do that. I'm already up to my waist because of unfortunate events that have happened in the last few years. School loans that I can't pay back and then they check your credit when you go for a job. Oh, she's got these school loans. We can't let her do anything that involves any kind of money transaction at all. We can't hire her. She's untrustworthy. Like, oh my God. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Some people toy with quicksand. They touch their toe in it. Some people accidentally step in it and they get out with help of friends or they find something some means to get out and some people get in the quicksand and they don't know what to do and the more they flail around the worse it gets and the deeper they go I'm about up to my waist because I don't really know what to do I don't have a decent job I can't make any payments to anybody and I am really really bumming out I have a problem with depression sometimes it's debilitating I have ADHD and uh, also I have some kind of physical things going on, but not all the time. Sometimes. Sometimes my back goes out and my hips go out. I don't know. It's never, it's only been this last year that that's been happening. Someone said, go on disability. I can't go on disability. You need a year of being unemployable, period. And you need doctor's documentation. I don't have... I, I don't know that. I can't afford even to go get antibiotics for my infection. I can't. I don't qualify for anything. But Thursday night's court case against this place for not subscribing to trash service. Two years ago they mandated some law that every person that lives in a house in St. Louis County has to pay for trash service. I've lived here 15 years, and at least at least the last 13 years, I've gone over to my mom's once a week. If I have any trash, I take a little bag with me, and I put her trash out. Even though my brother lives there, I still put the trash out there. And uh, I understand why they want, you know, to keep the place up. No vermin, no mosquitoes, no crap in the yard. You know, keep it appearances well and, and everything. I, just, I understand the concept. I used to work in planning and zoning and I was the one that was sent out to measure the grass and to document that there was a problem and send letters to the owners. I know the whole rigmarole. I'm not a bad person and I keep this place up but if my mom has to go to court, which she's supposed to, it'll kill her. She can't. She's wheelchair bound with oxygen. It will kill her and then I'm I, I would really be upset because I would not have a place to live, period. I'm working on trying to get a job. I can't get a job. But any minor thing that happens is major to me. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm in quicksand and I can't get out. I need help, but there doesn't seem to be any help. I can understand why people turn to the dark side why people go to crime. If they don't feel that there's any way out and that there's no help anywhere, I'm not stupid. I have two associate's degrees. I have some extra other schooling, you know, broadcast schooling, and you know, I'm not stupid. I just don't know how to go about stuff. And I don't have anyone to ask. I have no help. I have no buddies. I have no friends. I had a, an abusive marriage for 17 years. I was kept apart from family and friends. Even the minister at church I was kept apart from. So, you know, starting over and beginning again when you're like 40 is not easy. And I'm older than that now. And it's, it's just not easy. I don't know what to do. I'm in metaphoric quicksand and I need help. It's hard for me to think about going upward and onward.